Today we're in Eureka Park, looking at a four bedroom house for sale and rent. Um, so just to give you a bit of idea, a bit of idea about Eureka Park. So uh, Eureka Park is a lot off Kafio Road. If you're coming from the CBD Central Business District, it's on the left side. Uh, lots of amenities in the area, so if you invest in this property, you don't have to worry about malls and places for recreational activities. So. You have the Lamasat Mall, that's the nearest mall. At Lamasat Mall you have a gym, uh, some restaurants, there's also a Futsu Arena, the, the sports complex. So they have uh, lots of different sports there. You have, the one I'm commonly known for that place is uh, Futsal, so you can play soccer there. If you have kids who love to play soccer. Then there's also Barber College, great school, it's also in the, along, along Cafe Road. You also have Sanji's Creation, uh, which is a very famous lodge, I think it's been around for a very long time. Uh, there's also Harry's Grill, if you, uh, it's just as you exit Eureka Park from Mahogany Drive, there's a restaurant, um, what else do we have? Uh, there's also Pound Stretcher, uh, it's like a, it's like a I can't call it, supermarket, yeah, and also Jean Japan, the car dealers, yeah, so very, very developed location, and Eureka Park is, uh, I guess it's for people who want to live, uh, want to be close to town, but also want to have that feeling of being on the outskirts and in the and in a more I'd say outdoorsy place. It's not very far from town. So yeah. But uh, there's also the, I guess the unique thing about Eureka Park is next to Eureka Campsite. So Eureka Campsite you can do I guess in the name you can have it. you can do camping there. You can also I've seen uh tracks for I guess road not track, roads for dead bikes and uh quads yeah so you can good place to take your kids and there's also a I don't call it a zoo but they keep all the animals um, mostly I've seen a giraffe there a zebra and a kudu and an antelope something like that yeah so the unique thing also is when you're driving into Eureka Park along Mahogany Drive the fence is, you can see through the fence so you, you can actually actually you can actually see the animals in in the in the in the park so that wasting any time let's get with our tour so we'll start with the outside. The most unique thing about this plot is the backyard. So you can see, just look at all that space. Very big yard with lots of trees. You can have your kids here, play, you can set up tent, you can set up, you can put, I guess, a, I guess tents, but you have the trees for natural covering from the sun, from the heat and the like. Um, you can have picnics here with your family. Um, what else? What else can you do? The kids can play. So I, I feel it's a very good place to raise a family, to keep uh, it's a place to settle down to your family. The plot's about 2.5 acres in total. So if maybe you're not, if you're someone who likes to invest, you can use the main house, then you can also use this side of the property to redevelop and set up apartments or another house if you have someone maybe buy this and live in this one and you know that's a, the potential is uh limitless so yeah so that's probably my, this is probably my favorite thing about the house the backyard there's lots of space the trees and what you can just do relax and the pool with the pool even just here at the front you know it's uh, it's like your own gateway your own getaway so get in the house, we have our swimming pool there. We'll start with the this room. We'll start from the back because the main door is locked. The keys are not provided, so the only keys that are there are from the back. So I'll just give you a view from this side. So that's your entrance. You have your main door there. 
So this is technically the front of the house. So if you come in home, that's probably like your landing area. You park there, you drop off the person who's coming in, they go in. You have your garage that side. Yeah. For the video, I'm mainly focusing on the house. So let's head inside and have a look. So the first thing we have is your dining. So here you can have your dining table, you know, share your meals with your family. This way, that's the main door that we saw when we went from the other side. This is your main living area. I love the natural, I love the glass windows, the wooden glass windows, lots of natural light coming in. You have a fireplace there. So very spacious rooms, there's a fireplace. You have some shelves there for storage, you can put your decorations, flowers, pictures of family, and the like. When you enter the house, there's also a powder room on your left. So basic, you have your sink, toilet with a mirror. We head this way. So this is probably like part one of the house, so we'll just divide it into two. So this is the kitchen. You have your stove in the middle, you can have your fridge there. There's also a laundry room. This is your laundry, you can have your laundry. It's also a second kitchen. You have, if you guess if you have guests over, that can be the main kitchen to entertain the guests. Then here I guess you can have more heavier cooking and the like. Or if you have helpers, this is a great they can have their meals here, cook from here, do the laundry and the like. There's also a pantry. With enough storage and this way it heads to the back more space for laundry here that door leads back inside so you can see like when I say there are lots of trees in this place I'm not exaggerating so the air is, you can actually feel the quality of the air is you know because of the trees there's lots of fresh air so we've seen the kitchen in the kitchen, oh, what I mentioned, there's also a stove in the center there. Yeah, it's in the kitchen, lots of storage space. It's in the kitchen, the dining, the living room. Now we head to, this can be, I guess you can decide, you can also, this can also be another dining or a TV room. So that can be, I guess, your main lounge and here you can have the TV room because the way it's set up. Also has access to the swimming pool area. See, that's the door we saw when we were outside from when we, when we exited from the kitchen. Then, yeah, so I don't know. This, this is probably the TV room. I guess that one can, like I mentioned, it can be a lounge. Or if you want a big, more space for your TV room, you can use that one. But this would probably be perfect. Then that side, you can just have chairs, or like a lounge, right? Probably just relax. It's also got access to the box. So the dining, the, the dining, the lounge, and the TV room have or have, or have access, so it's just about deciding. So let me know which room you'd use. Is it the other room, the biggest one, or this one as a TV room? That one is probably just set as a dining because it's in the center and it comes from the kitchen, so there's no really need to be in doubt on its use. So now let's look at the bedrooms. So the bedrooms, two bedrooms are self-contained. So the one at the far end there, that's the master, and this one is a, one of the other rooms that's self-contained. So we'll start with this one. Spacious enough, uh, large window for natural light. Even, I don't know if you've noticed the ceiling. I wonder how they did that, but it's like a country house. Uh, it's got a country type of feel to the house, it's got like a country feel. Then we head this way where we have the bath bathroom. You have your shower, toilets and sink with your mirror. So you also have your seat there, you're showering. I don't, know if you, I don't think you can work as a sauna. It looks like a seat that would be in a sauna, but yeah. Also storage space here as you enter, like a small walk-in closet as you head to the bathroom. Yeah, so tell me what you think of this room in the comments. You head this way down the hall. You also have some more storage space here. You can 
coffee. Then we head this way. We have two bedrooms that share one bathroom. So this room here, this is probably a boy's room. The color of the walls are blue. This is probably a boy's room, whoever was staying here before. See, you have your dressing there, your dressing mirror there, you have also your storage space, your wardrobes and the like. Also natural, naturally big windows for lots of natural light. You can imagine waking up here where it's raining, just seeing the rain falling and the fresh air that just comes in is. Yeah, so next we have the bathroom, the communal bathroom for the two rooms. So similar to the bathroom in the other room, you have your sink there, big enough mirror, you have the toilet and shower. So similar design. And this one, the walls are pink. So this must have been the girl's room. So if you have a daughter, you just have to repaint. You just make that with your daughters. But again, maybe I don't know if they want to share boys and girls, but I guess it depends on how big, how old your children are. But yeah, but similar design to the other room. Only difference is the color of the paint. Yeah, then that room, you can, it can also be a guest room. Oh so yeah. Or if you have an elderly person, you can give them that room just for a bit more privacy. Yeah. Then this is the master bedroom. So the master bedroom naturally is the biggest of all the rooms. You can see. You have access to a small uh, private space. So if you want a bit more privacy with your partner, it probably has to be worked on. The house has been vacant for some time now. So probably here it has to be worked on and you can actually put some grass uh, or maybe pave it if you're not really, if you feel the grass on the outside is too much, you can pave it here, but there are lots of trees, set up some chairs here, have a lot, lot just a bit of privacy between you and your partner. Yeah, that's I guess, something very unique about the house. Then this way, you have the master bathroom with your walk-in closet this way. So it's like the other room, but double in size. So even the closets are more. Your storage space, you have more storage space. Just open one just to give you a look. Then you have the master bathroom. So master bathroom is double in size. You have your twin sinks. You have your toilet there. You have your jacuzzi tub and you have your shower. So the master bathroom is just times two of the first room that we had seen that was self-contained. Yeah, so this is probably one of the... The design is simple, but it's unique. The wooden framing of the windows, uh, the size of the plot, it's, uh, I would say it's the perfect family home. Great place to raise a family. Yeah, so that's it for the video. Let's end it outside. Um, that's it for the video. Tell me what you think of the house. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite listings right now. Uh, four bedroom house for rent and sell, Eureka Park, off Kofir Road. Perfect place to raise a family. Um, yeah. Like, share, subscribe, wherever you're watching from. Um, thanks for watching. Deep contact details in the description. Yeah, thank you for watching. Good day.